Good morning. Today is March 19th. The Los Angeles Community College Board of Trustees passed an emergency resolution at its special meeting last night, which, and I quote, authorizes the chancellor or his designee to take any and all actions necessary to help ensure the continuation of public education and the health and safety of students and employees. You can read the full resolution here at the link being displayed on your screen. This action means that we will be able to move more expeditiously in the procurement of supplies and equipment or the development protocols necessary to facilitate the district shift into an online environment. Locally, our COVID-19 task force is working on a set of FAQs regarding questions we've received about telecommuting. A series of messages will also go out over the next several days to our students with updated information and reminders about accessing online services and other details to help our students with this transition. Now, I am aware that other community college districts around the state are announcing closures through the end of the spring and, in some cases, into the summer. Please know that as of this morning, there is not yet a decision regarding the return of the Los Angeles College District to on-ground instruction as of April 14th. But please be assured that as soon as we receive any updated information, we will at least share it with you. In the meantime, you will also soon see an amended academic schedule as it relates to the continuation of the first eight week slate of courses past our new spring break and the opening of our second eight week term. We all understand how vital it is that information is received on a regular basis and in a clear and concise manner. This would not be happening at West without the Herculean efforts of two individuals. Michelle Long Coffey, Director of Public Relations, and Clarissa Costanez, a web designer. From managing the electronic bulletin boards at our entrances, to updating the website on a regular basis, to creating information videos, to updating our social media sites, and even to creating this message that you are now receiving. All these communications come from these two individuals. So please join me in thanking Michelle and Clarissa, because we would not have the information we do without all their work and their dedication to us. In closing... I'm a believer in the insights of others, so I will end, be ending today's message with a comment from Virgil, an ancient Roman poet of the Augustan period, who offers a thought today as relevant as it was over 2,000 years ago. He admonishes us to both address our challenges and to recognize the importance of caring for ourselves. For he states, persevere and preserve yourselves for better circumstances. Let me repeat that. Persevere and preserve yourselves better circumstances. Better circumstances are coming, and we will all be proud of how we have handled the challenges before us. My thanks go to each of you.